the sun is behind me. Welcome back everybody for another seven days of fall. This is now probably my seventh fall week that I've done so far. It's chilly out here. Today is going to be a little different. Well, this week is going to be a little different rather because I may actually have some help on this seven day stretch of fall. And I'll show you what I mean in just a minute. All right, so the reason today is a little different is because I actually have some help from one of my lower levels or third year residents who is going to basically take what we call buddy call this whole entire week, which means I'm actually like backup call. So he fields all of the pages and he kind of relieves some of that stress for me. Therefore, I only have to worry about emergencies, which is how it used to be my entire residency. So this week should be a little better regardless if I get called in or not. So we will see. I have to put on these dirty procedure shoes. I'm only covering the East Hospital this whole entire week or the main hospital. So I won't have to get called in and go around all of Manhattan. My hair's a little bit messed up. Also, I'm a little tired to start off this whole entire call week. Andrana and I found Bridgerton and we watched like three or four episodes last night and I didn't go to bed till almost midnight. I got up at 5.30 this morning. So I really kind of set myself up for a disaster this week, but hopefully it's not too bad with George helping me out. George! What's up? <laughs> Introduce yourself. Hey, I'm George. What year are you? Uh, I'm a third year radiology resident. What are you gonna be doing this week? Doing some consults. George is going to be taking care of me all week and doing everything for me, right? Absolutely. Good. Let's do it. All right. So just finished my first case of the morning, which was a Y90 or transarterial radio embolization of a liver tumor. And now I'm about to dictate that study. And of course, I always say my wife is the best wife in the world because she always packs me breakfast when I'm on call. She always makes me dinner when I'm on call for the entire week. And my mother-in-law also does the same thing. I'm like the luckiest guy in the world, I swear. I don't know what people do who don't have this. I bet their lives are way harder than mine are on call. That's one procedure down. We have like three or four more to go and we'll see how it goes. All right, so that concludes day one on this week of call. It's about 4.30 right now and I'm leaving work, which is very rare when you're on call. So I did a Y90 or a transarterial embolization to start off the day. Did another bland hepatic tumor embolization after that, followed by biliary drain exchange, and now I'm going home. Of note, my good colleague George is still at the hospital cranking out through some consults. And I cannot tell you how happy I am that he is on call with me this entire week because he is fielding every single call overnight and will only call me for emergencies. I mean, I'm not gonna celebrate yet, but I think it's pretty much a win so far. We'll see, headed home now and uh, hopefully you don't hear from George tonight. And it is officially Tuesday morning, or in the South, as we say, Tuesday. Last night was pretty terrible, I have to admit. Got called a whole bunch of times from George because poor George was getting killed overnight last night. He answered a ton of different pages from pretty urgent slash emergent cases. So he had to call me about a few different things. Didn't end up coming in, but I've been up since about 4.15 and I know George has been up. He probably got like three hours of sleep total last night. So he will be dead tired today. Otherwise, have a pretty big day. Have two tips scheduled on the board. For those of you who haven't seen the other videos, transjugular intrahepatic port symmetry shunts. And then we have an MAA and liver biopsy plus support, plus maybe a tunnel line. We'll see. Busy day and minimal sleep, but we can get through it because it's only Tuesday. Six more days to go. Let's go. All right, so I just finished work. I was trying to get a hold of George, but we had a huge emergency. And I'm finally leaving at about seven o'clock right now. And I'll tell you all about it in just a second, but let me get an Uber home. All right, guys, so I am back at home now. And I don't think I mentioned, but it's Tuesday night. Today was a little crazy. So at the end of the day, 
Uh, one of the patients I had from the morning ended up having some severe type of hypertensive emergency. Ultimately, they were admitted to the floor so that they could be washed overnight. It's about 7.45 p.m. now, just showered, ate some dinner. Have to do a few things, uploading a YouTube video right now. And yes, I do this even when I'm on call. I try to stay on top of it, put out those two videos every single week. But uh, <clears throat> I'm done. But um, yeah, I'm probably just gonna sit here, do this, go to bed and uh, see what's going on in the morning. Hopefully nobody calls me as much as they did last night. Last night was kind of brutal and started my week off on a bad foot. See you tomorrow. And top of the morning to you all, it is now Wednesday. It's pretty early. Well, not that early, it's like 7 a.m. Last night was pretty good. I didn't get called in at all. I think we got paged like one time. Luckily, I don't have to answer it because George is here. So for me, it was a pretty good night. The only problem is I still went to bed a little late because I still can't stop watching that show Bridgerton. So we stayed up till like 11.30 watching it. So now I'm pretty tired, but I do it to myself, unfortunately. We have pretty big cases today, which is pretty cool. And that's pretty much it. I'll go find George as well. I think I'm just gonna start shoving the camera in George's face so you guys can see how he's doing because he's getting kind of stressed out because he's got a tough week, far tougher than I do. All right guys, so it is 1.35 right now. Just finished an incredibly long case, a mesenteric angiogram and embolization. It's crazy. Probably about four hours it took total for everything. No. Probably took about four hours. I was starving towards the end there. Literally left the case, ran upstairs to the cafeteria, just absolutely devoured two tacos. Now I'm chugging my drink because I'm also thirsty and gotta stay hydrated because that's how you prevent headaches at the end of the day. But I'm gonna dictate this case and I have another four plus hour case to do after this. <sighs> Wish me luck. George, how excited are you? Uh, okay, good. All right, so I finished that second case. It was a pretty bloody case. There happened to be a lot of blood on the drapes and everything. And I usually pride myself on staying clean all the time. I just got these brand new socks, these Bomba socks, and I got blood on my socks. Can you see that? So not to go clean my brand new socks with some like alcohol or something. Hydrogen peroxide, maybe that works. We'll see. Burr. It is a chilly day out here. I think it's like in the 20s right now. And my hand is about to freeze off, so let me talk to you just a second. All right, back in the office now. Nice little snack here, even though it's squished and probably frozen. I stayed up way too late last night watching the stock market. Pretty much all day yesterday, I was watching the stock market as well because all of the GameStop and all of the Robinhood news and all that stuff. Obviously the trader that I am, I love trading, I used to trade and I do it casually now. So I was very much invested and also had a very busy day here. So I pretty much had like no time to vlog. I was either trading, watching the markets, reading the news or doing procedures. But now it's a new day. Dogecoin or Dogecoin, whatever the heck it is, is going off today. But I'm about to go into a procedure right now after I devour this bagel. And hopefully by the time I get out, it's like 9.45 or so and I can start trading before the next procedure. Also, one thing I didn't mention is that Andriana is out of town yet again. She went to the Hamptons for her business trip. She goes there like once every couple of months or so, but not so much in the winter time. But she left last night. She comes back late tonight. So yesterday I was pretty bored, but still have George. All right, so two big cases down, two more to go. I'm sorry to be pretty tired, not gonna lie, but what can you do? I am so spent right now. It is literally 9.45 p.m. and I just finished my fourth case of the day, which is crazy because I literally started, I got here, what, 7.45? Now I'm just finished. Okay, but seriously, that was four tough cases, a Y90 followed by MA or pre-Y90 mapping. Then I did a TIPS, transjugular liver biopsy and paracentesis all in one, which took a while. Then I did a bilateral upper extremity angiogram and left lower extremity angiogram and stent placement. So, you know when you've just been sweating for like 12 hours straight and you finally walk outside, even though it's 20 degrees outside, it just feels so good. That's how I feel right now. 
I'm going home, going to sleep, and Andrana's finally home, so we'll hang out now. Got my fancy bouffant cap on right now. And we just finished a nice CT guided procedure. And oh, forgot to say it's Saturday, by the way. I had to come in this morning, round on some patients, take care of some odds and ends and all that stuff. I didn't actually do the procedure just now because George did the procedure, which is always nice when someone else doesn't. All right, so George did that procedure. <laughs> How did it go? Outstanding. What did you end up doing? Did you just crush it? Yeah, just put a little drain in. Piece of cake. <laughs> How would you rate your experience with me on call so far? For the last seven days? About six out of ten? Yeah. <laughs> why, why would you rate it six out of ten? I just, there's room for improvement, that's all. There's room for improvement. There's room for improvement. Good, there's room for improvement. George is literally cracking me up so much, but I'm heading home right now. I'm freezing. Hold on a second. All right, so I just got back home now. Um, had to do that one case at the hospital, and now I'm back here. George was literally cracking me up the whole time we were at the hospital. It's actually so much better having someone else on service with you that's like commiserating with you. It's just so much more fun, especially when you have someone cool who you can talk to, and it literally makes working seven days straight on call suck just a little bit less. Actually, it makes it suck a lot less. George is handling almost everything. I just kind of sit back here like an attending, help him out whenever I need to, which is so rare. So basically it's almost like this is the best call week ever so far, but I may have just jinxed myself because we still have tonight, Saturday night, all day tomorrow, and of course the dreaded Sunday night. As you all know from my prior videos, Sunday night is like the thorn in my side because something always happens on Sunday night, but let's hope it doesn't happen this weekend. Extravaganza. Somehow I made it through last night without getting called in. We had two GI bleeds pending all night. We were watching the hemoglobin, check their CT scans, and checking their vitals all night to make sure that we didn't need to embolize anything. We were just up all night and didn't have to come in, but then we had another transfer from another hospital to come in. So poor George, who I could not have done this whole week without, was up literally all night last night and now has to read CTs all day as well while I have the day off. So I will say George had a much tougher week than I did. Uh, I did get woke up a whole bunch this week, never had to go in, but poor George had to go in this morning at 4 a.m. to <laughs> check on the patient. And if he wasn't here, that would have been me that would have had to do that. So he saved me a trip to the hospital in the pouring snow, which you can see behind me. So I'm very appreciative of that. He did a fantastic job and I love working with someone during this call week because it makes it so much more fun and enjoyable and all that stuff. That officially concludes this video. I'm going to relax here on my post-call day, a post-call snow day, which is like the best possible scenario ever. I can just sit here on the couch with Andrana. We can relax and do nothing. So make sure you smash the subscribe button, follow my Instagram and TikTok if you don't already. And I'll see you all on the next video. Thank you.